Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to A Town Throwdown Four. We're here in lovely Austin, Minnesota, at the Holiday Inn. Uh, Jeremy, this is our fourth installment down here in Austin, and let's just jump right into the fights. So the first guy coming out to the cage tonight is Jamie Nas, and he will be taking on Jonathan Whitney. Jeremy, you know these two guys well. Tell me, uh, tell me what you can before these guys get out to the cage. I mean, I love this fight when I put it together. Um, you know, Nas, he's uh, he, he looked really good at his fight in uh, Detroit Lakes. Brought a bunch of fans and just put on a show. Um, here he's obviously, you know, Whitney, Whitney and, and did the same thing in Detroit Lakes. He just really uh, didn't seem comfortable in there, and he really seemed frustrated and uh, angry with his performance. I think tonight he'll be a different fighter. Um, you know, fight one is a lot of nerves and a lot of energy, and when you're, you know, when the other guy's a little more composed than you, it can mean a lot. And the building is filling in nicely here. Considering it's 6 o'clock in the evening, we already have a good couple hundred people in here, and uh, I'm sure it will be, uh, you know, completely packed by the time we get to our main event this evening. So, yeah, when we looked at this card, this was a perfect fight to kind of kick the night off. A couple of guys looking to prove themselves, and, and I'm sure they'll be swinging for the fences. Yeah, um, I'm excited because, uh, you know, when we put this fight together, I saw you made it the first fight of the night. I, I didn't notice until you did, and I was like, you know, that's the perfect fight of the night. Um, you know, the other guy's a big local fighter, um, but, you know, they, they have a chance to come and impress the fans, and uh, I think this will be a very good fight. Um, Whitney seemed to be a really good athlete. He didn't get, you know, he didn't really get into his zone in his fight. Um, you know, Jamie's over at Fargo BJJ. We got a good relationship going with them, and we're excited to have more other people. And now Jonathan Whitney on his way out to the cage. Jeremy, tell us a little bit more about him. Uh, you know, real athletic kid, training with Taylor Berg over there. Um, I believe they're calling it Powerhouse. Um, I'm not sure if that's the nick their nickname of the gym, but a group of guys getting together in St. Joseph and, uh, you know, getting a good start to the sport. St. James. St. James, sorry. I thought it was St. Joseph. St. James down here. That's a old conference rival of, of me, so. I'm excited to see this entire gym. You know, they are all former athletes, and that's honestly, that's a big deal. You know, yeah. we, we got a lot of guys that that fight, they're scrappers, but to get the good athletes into this sport is huge. It's the future of the sport, you know. Um, Whitney, Whitney seemed to me like he had really good footwork. Um, you know, he moves, he moved really slick and smooth on his feet. It'll be interesting to see uh, if he can, if he can um, come out and put on the show that he wanted to last time. Because I know, I know he's better than the fighter he showed last time. And Taylor like, said he's been working hard, and uh, you know I'm excited. Well, like you said, we got what four guys from their gym on this card because we got Chris Whitehead's with them, John Whitney, Taylor Berg, and Gio Alvarado, a guy we're both excited to see later in the evening here. You know, Gio seems like he's just ready to throw down with anyone and everyone, and uh, that's what we like to see. Those are the kind of guys that we bring back time and time again. Well, again, you mentioned an athlete. You could see in his face he's competed before. Like yeah. he wasn't nervous. This is his first fight, and he's, you can tell he's not nervous. So we'll send it up to the cage here for the first fight of the evening. So here we go, A Town Throwdown 4, about to get underway. Crowd's quiet, seems excited. It's early. Full house now. I know, people haven't started drinking yet even. Nas the sub, oh, nice man. takedown right away. Um, you talk about you know, great change of levels right off the bat. Yeah. Nas committed to that right hand, and, and when you do that against a wrestler, you're going to end up on your back. How good a wrestler was Whitney? Uh, ben? I didn't know that he, you know, he, I know he trains with some very good wrestlers, but I don't know his wrestling background. But, uh, but judging by that change of levels, I would say he's a legit wrestler. Very, just a very good athlete, I think. I don't think he wrestled, but um, definitely a very, very quick twitch athlete. 
But the question is, is this where Nas wants to fight? Anyway? That's what Jay I was thinking. Fargo BJJ, you assume he's got some good ground game. They have, they have, a, they have the top jiu-jitsu program in Fargo. Is that a shot at ACA? <laughs> yeah. I think ACA has more of an MMA program. I don't believe they have much of a jiu-jitsu program. I'd... There are a couple of ACA guys on the card. And Randy Brown is training there. Is he? Yeah. Didn't know that. I know we talked yesterday. We weren't sure if he was out of there or not. Yeah, I asked him because I wasn't I really, you know, he said he works a goofy schedule, so he only gets there about two, three days a week, but still. Come on, Jamie. Let's work. Not a lot happening here. I don't know how long they're going to let it sit here. You know, Fip will probably let it sit here for a good chunk of the first round. You know, if this happened in the second round, he probably wouldn't let him sit here for very long. No, not much has happened here yet, but uh, Jamie's really comfortable off his back, you can tell. And um, yep. uh, he's going to stand up here. Stand up here. You know, Nav is doing a very good job with the wrist control, and that kind of just neutralized any offense that... Yeah, that, uh, forced to stand up, definitely. Right. Oh, nice right nice. hand. Stunned him with that right. Nice right uppercut. Another takedown. And now he's got him inside, and I think he I think he was stunned by that takedown. I think it took a lot out of him. You can see he didn't react when he hit the ground there. No, and right before that, John got hit with a nice, sharp right uppercut. He's trying to mount him, and it ended up getting him in half. I don't think John's going to be the better ground guy here. No, but he's, you know he should have stayed inside and, and just gone to work for a little bit. He's been able to get the takedowns easily, but uh, seems like Jamie's very yeah. Here we go. Jamie's going to try to take his back from here. He is taking his back. Um, this could be trouble for Whitney. Well, Whitney is smart. He doesn't need to have that hand on the ground. There's no knees in an amateur fight anyway. He's doing a good job. It's a good thing he didn't go back to the ground. I think standing up was the right thing here. For sure. With the time left in the round, I don't think he's a threat now to get, to get caught with the rear naked, so I think he's in good shape. And I think barring a huge, ooh, another good right hand by Nas. A little dirty boxing. Oh, and he comes back. He answers with our two rights. Yep. Nice oh, hip toss. And a nice. Oh, beautiful. I got a hard time believing that he didn't wrestle. We'll have to ask his corner if he wrestled. I think uh, that takedown certainly secured the round for him. That's going to be a 10-9 round for Whitney. And, and at the same time, this fight is up in the air. I would not be surprised if either guy came out and won this, this fight. I agree. Uh, Whitney definitely won that round, but he extended a lot of energy. Uh, two, two or three takedowns. Uh, one was a big slam. It'll be interesting to see if he can, his cardio holds up. But, you know, honestly, that takedown, that really secures the round for him. I think without that, then there's a question. Now there's no question. I agree. the second here with Whitney up around to none. She won't be able to stay. Good first round for John. Curious to see how he answers. Jamie's got a little lump under his uh, left eye from one of those red hands. I think it was the inside right hand over there, inside of the cage. And now is when we see the gas tank too. So yeah, for sure. Who's been and Whitney, Whitney does look a little, little tired. He looks a little uh, stiff right now compared to what he was in the first. And he's sticking that chin out there, just begging, begging him. Oh! He's just the more explosive athlete, though. Like he really time. is. He's got a nice, he quick switches levels fast, like you said, and he's a quick twitch athlete. Nice takedown. I don't know if he wants to be here, though. He needs to get that leg out. And so often when you see guys go for a leg lock, the immediate response is to go for a leg lock on your opponent. Nice, two nice shots, shots though. No, he doesn't. Because it's going to restrict how he can turn. He wants to get that leg out as soon as he can. I think he's safe, though. There it is. He's pulling it up. Well, maybe not. 
like I said, when, when the guy is faced with a leg lock, he grabs onto another one. Nothing better than a leg lock battle. Right now. Yeah, I don't think he quite knows how to finish this leg lock from now. I don't think he's in the right There's position either. Here right no, now. it's just a neutralizer. Yeah, and he's giving it up here. So now he's in a bad spot. Get right back up if he could. This isn't where he wants to be. Jamie's doing a good job of controlling him from here, but he's not really doing any damage. Well, that's what I'm saying. You know, Jamie is down and around. He needs to start pushing the pace here. Let the hands go. Rain down some punches here. You're in a dominant position. Use it. He's trying to set something up on that firearm. I noticed John's going? mouthpiece is barely in there. I think he might be getting a little bit tired. Um, looks like he's well, having that was trouble. Straight back of the head there. Yeah. He won't. He got warned. He won't get another warning. Not an amateur fight. Jamie's trying to take the back here. He is, but John's done a great job with the two-on-one with the wrist yes. control here. Oh, those are definitely hard shots. That one was legal, I thought. It was right on the ear. Very hard. It was. And he did not grab the cage there. Ten seconds. I think he's going to get saved by the bell here. Round three could be very interesting. Now I think we got a round a piece there. I think Nas yeah. is going to get that round based on the, the way he finished it. You know, when you end a round on top, it leaves something in the judges' minds that you were on top in that round. I, you know, I think he won that round. I think so. I think now it was. We're I think see that gas. One on one clean. Yeah, and I think Jamie, you know, Jamie a little more experienced. He's been very composed. He's not wasting any energy tonight. You know, um, correct. And his offense, a lot of it's been off his back or in a position where he's he's not wasting shots. He's fighting a very smart fight. And I'm sure right now Whitney's corner is telling him, hey, that's not the game we want. We don't want to mess around and roll around on the ground with this guy. That's the only way this guy's going to beat you. Getting loose with your hips and, and doing that is not where you want to be with a ground guy. I think right now this third round is, is where you find out who trained harder when you got two guys that are, are pretty clearly tied going into the last round. Both guys look a little winded, but uh, that's to be expected. They've been two tough rounds. Two tough rounds, and they're two guys who've only been in the cage once each, you know? I want to see John put tuck that chin rather than sticking it out there. He's got he's, he's long and he's athletic. I'm surprised he hasn't tried to utilize his stand-up more, but he's really tired. It's a nice takedown. He's gonna want to be careful here though. To win the Great to get him up with those Mankato MMA guys and get him in there with, you know, learning all the technique and using that athleticism to his advantage. It's going to be tough for Jamie to work any submissions here. His head against the back of the cage and his other side of body against it. Um, Sean's kind of struggling for position to get where he wants to get, though. And Nas has trapped that right arm, and he's trying to set it up. It's gonna, like you said, it's gonna be very tough against the cage. Yeah, it can be much you can do, but yeah, he's smart of John. I think to get that takedown right away, though, get the, you know, get the first half of the round in the bag, and uh, I imagine he'll get stood up here. And if he gets another takedown, he should be able to wrap up the win, uh, bar a submission. And there Those he are goes. good shots. Yep. And nice now, I would say there. right there. Yep. Oh, he's gonna. He's, gonna, he's got a little guillotine in here. I don't know I if he went for it a little too I soon. Wouldn't I wouldn't have done that either. Not in the position I was in, and he had nothing there. It's, it's he pulled for that. Man. Yeah. He doesn't have it. He's going to have to get that second hand in there. He's I don't totally see it fine. happening. A jiu-jitsu guy knows he's totally fine right here. Yeah. And now the hands aren't even close. No. Um, they never were. Oh, uh, now you're giving up mount. Exactly why you don't go for a guillotine unless you know what you're doing. Um, oh. He's still got his neck. If he can turn him here, he's going to be in a good spot. He's very strong. Oh, couldn't get it. Now he could be in trouble. I mean, that 
was an unnecessary risk in a third round where you were winning the oh. round. He's but he's going to give up his arm if he's not careful. That's the danger right here. Nice. Wow. That's just pure athleticism right there. Pure athleticism, and you know he's you now. But you got to keep that arm away. He you cannot know. get lazy right here because that triangle is coming. And Jamie has excellent loose control. I would get out of this and stand up and go for another he needs takedown. To stay oh, the side control. Right? Yeah. Don't pull for the. I wouldn't pull for this guillotine either if I was him. And not until you lock up the second arm. I don't. I would push we're gonna have to get him, a, we're gonna, him down again. We're going to have to get him a tight fit and mouthpiece, too. Oh, he's got both hands, but I don't think he has it. He doesn't have good enough grip. Now he's. Not you familiar. know, you want to be careful giving that up to a good jiu jitsu guy like Jamie. You want to be careful giving that up to anyone. Yeah. I don't, you know, I still think he did enough to win the fight. I'll I think I right got winning 2 1. I won the yep. first and the third. I think yep. you're 100% right there. It'll be very interesting. Yeah. 